Hello. Um, in this video, you will see how to work with um, dashboards, charts uh, in Vienna Advantage. Um, as you know, um, reporting is a very important and crucial part of any ERP system. And reporting is always um, something which is dynamic, depends on the situation, depends on the type of company. So apart from the number of a uh, number of standard reports, um, Vienna Advantage offers certain tools which allow you to customize and create your own reporting without any kind of programming knowledge. Um, today I would like to show you uh, one of the tools uh, that we use for that um, uh, to create certain dashboard reports. And uh, first of all, what are dashboard reports? Um, these reports are basically um, um, yeah, reports in um, your business uh, analytics cockpit where you can actually have different types of reports. One of them is a tabular report, for example, like this one where you have like a, your customer list. And if you would like to like group your customers, uh, you can do some interactive things with um, this kind of reports. And um, also there are some kind of um, other reports like there is a KPI report where certain figures uh, from the system are accumulated and presented to you um, on your dashboard on uh, depending on the role access that you have. But then there are also other reports like um, chart reports, um, all kinds of chart reports that you might want to um, look at and um, these reports are all real-time data okay so um, I have another tab that I just created here um, called sales history and I would like to insert um, some chart reports uh, here and um, the data should come here from the invoicing which has actually been done in the past so um, I'll do that and later I'll show you some more possibilities um, that we have here in this panel for using the charts. Um, so for creating a chart, uh, first of all, you go to the uh, window dashboard chart. And uh, in this window, um, you can start creating a chart by clicking on the new record. So let's give it a name. So invoicing, invoicing done in the last three months, let's say. And um, let's create a um, pie chart. And the label color should be black. Chart background should be white. Sequence, well, in sequence, later you have to fix or define the sequence. Anyways, show legend, yes. And show zero series, um, yeah, that's OK. And uh, yeah, on the main tab, that's it. Let's go to the access. In the access, basically, you can define who will gain the access over the chart. So for example, you want that some uh, certain roles should receive the access. You can add any number of roles um, to see that chart. OK, then um, we have to define the chart series, uh, which will be linked with the data source. And um, actually, I would like to link it with the window invoicing. So invoice customer. So all the customer invoices should actually be reflected on the chart. So let me just open the window invoice. And here, if I search for all records, I have some records here from July, April, May, uh, OK, this year. So there is some data, in fact, in the system. So I guess uh, shouldn't be a problem to showcase that data on the chart. Um, OK, let's give it a name. Um, sales last three months. Mm, the series color should be, let's say, gold. It's logarithmic. Uh, this logarithmic checkbox is if you have a very high variation in the data, so the chart basically will accordingly adjust to that show labels. And then um, the next thing is that you need to define is the is a tab or um, where the data should come from, and I would like to pick it up from the uh, invoice tab uh, here in the invoice because I have all types of invoices and then have a grand total of each invoice here in this. So I would like to pick it up from this tab, and if I want to see what is the name name of this tab, 
actually um, I can see, for example, this is uh, the table called C underscore invoice in the database. And I can actually go here and select also directly in, um, in the Java dashboard chart here directly that tab or that table. Let me just select the tab so it will come from invoice. Okay, so I'll go to the invoice. And here we have invoice customer. That's the name of the window and underscore the name of the tab. So that's the one I want to pick up. And you will see it's linked with the table C underscore invoice. Um, by the way, you also have the possibility to not only link it with a certain tab uh, at our table, but you can actually also link this to a database view. Maybe you have collected data uh, from different uh, tables into a certain view and you would like to project it on a certain um, dashboard. So x-axis, let's say uh, months. Okay, and here I would like to show uh, the data based on the column date. Uh, or type date and these are the different dates which are possible which are available in that um, that table so I'll pick the, pick the date invoice and for the last X month so and here this is basically a dynamic feature so for example if today's date I'm in August um, so it will pick automatically the last three months based on today's date so even if you are going ahead um, going to go be in September, October, November, whatever, it will automatically pick the last three months. So you never would need to change this um, uh, setup. Uh, you can always view the last three months based on the current date. Um, so that's basically a dynamic time frame, but you can also um, give it a fixed time frame if you would like to do that. Um, y axis uh, label, so let's call it um, totals, okay, and I would like that it sums up for the complete month and based on the grand total, which again is a field in that particular tab that we selected. Well, that's uh, all. Okay, let's group it, uh, order it by the column X. That should be all. So I just save it um, and I've done the settings for that chart. And let me then go and add this to the uh, business analytics. So I go to the sales history I click on this icon add chart and I can select the one invoicing done and here this one and sequence one anyways so it should bring up the chart okay I selected a pie chart okay I can change the type of the chart anyways so let me go back add a chart okay and it's a pie chart so I can move it to a column chart let's say Okay, and I go back here and I can refresh and here here we go. So it shows me basically the data for the last three months based on, yeah, uh, basically the, the, the details actually in the system. Um, since the month uh, August has started, so it's also bringing up uh, August uh, information, but since there is no data available in that month, uh, it will not bring me the, the details. Uh, but what is here nice is that I can actually drill down uh, into this column uh, that I just selected and it will actually bring me to the data which is uh, going into that column. So if I, for example, have uh, 244 here goes into the month of May, I can actually also um, go and see here. So you, you see there are two invoices um, done in that month of May and the total of these two is um, 244 and actually I can also drill down here from here further into the lines to see what other products which have been sold so um, you can see you have a management view which is a dynamic which has been created just now um, very quickly but which allows you also if you require to drill down into that to really go into uh, into the depth and um, I would like to, uh, based on this, show you some more things related to um, the charts, how to use it. Um, you can actually um, put multiple charts on a single uh, screen. So, for example, I put this one as the next. You can add another one here down below if you want. Um, but also you can switch to back to the details view on a single chart. So where it will show you the figures also in a table. Um, apart from that, we have the possibility to print it. Um, we can also edit this um, chart. We can edit some settings. Um, we can delete this from here. 
Um, and there is uh, another very interesting option, um, especially if you want to um, explore the data more in detail. So um, the charts that you see that we just created here um, are actually interactive charts. Um, so we have another very interesting option, uh, which is basically the filter section. Uh, in this section, basically, you can apply different types of uh, data filters on the charts that you are actually looking at. And um, so let me, for example, to uh, create one, uh, for example, um, if I go back to the invoice, let me just zoom to this one from here. And I can see that the invoices are of different customers. So there are different invoice to customers. So here we have like four different customers who have been invoiced. And um, what I would like to do is I would like to track um, the sales of a certain customer. Maybe they have one invoice or multiple invoices. So for that, um, what I can do is I can select a certain column, um, for example, invoice to customer. So here, this is the one. And I would like to filter the data only of, uh, let's say, leading engineers. Okay, so I just want to see the details of this uh, particular customer. And I can apply here. So what happens actually just filters out um, the sales done to that particular customer and actually I can keep on adding. So for example, I want to um, add on another one. So here and I want to apply so I can add up for two different customers. And actually um, what you can do is you can save this whole thing also, this whole filter. So for example, uh, I can say customer wise. Okay, and uh, I guess say this is the default filter uh, which should apply um, for everyone who opens that chart. So and um, so you have a kind of uh, business analytics, the uh, business intelligence um, tool where you can actually then really um, try to um, apply different types of filters. So this is let's say one filter, but I can also um, add any number of filters here. Actually, let's say I'm creating a new one. And um, yeah, so can, you can mix up different filters with each other. So if I even say this is one filter that I'm applying, but I can also add another column here. I want to only see um, invoices in a certain currency. I want to only see invoices, let's say, which are where the grand total is, uh, let's say, equal to or larger than, let's say, um, 500. Um, currency whatever dollars or whatever it might be so um, I can do that so I apply this whole thing so it will actually according to so let me just change the value here more than thousand okay okay you see it reduces so um, you have a huge possibility even by the user to to do these kind of activities directly on the front end without having any knowledge about coding um, or how to create these uh, charts uh, technically. You can easily do that in, a, in no time and um, customize the system according to your needs in terms of reporting. Um, there are, in fact, also other um, reporting capabilities. Um, I think um, I would like to show you these in the next um, videos that I'm going to record. So in the next video, you will be able to see how to create these kind of KPI um, panels. And uh, there is a very nice possibility that um, you can actually import um, Excel and create dashboards based on Excel files. So even the data doesn't need to be present in your system. You can actually have maybe some kind of sales data from the field, um, a file that is being up by people outside and um, you can bring in that data into your system and reflect it directly on your dashboards. So these are things I would like to show it to you in the next videos. For now, um, thanks a lot for watching.